Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to show you guys an Erin Condren haul. I have not done one of these in forever and I did pick up a bunch of stuff during the friends and family 25% off sale. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. I purposely waited to pick up some of the new on the go folio stuff um, until the sale because I wanted to make sure I could get a good discount and I was able to use not only the 25% off that was like site site wide um, but I also was able to use a 20% coupon that I got when I bought my life planner a long 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 time ago and I honestly just haven't used it yet so um, anyway let's go ahead and get right into it I did get some newer things and some things that I always use so I figured I'd just go ahead and do a big haul I have a huge box next to my desk so I'm gonna try my hardest to um, not make a ton of noise with the wrapping paper and all of that but let's go ahead and get started so the first couple of things that I picked up were the new types of um, what are these called why during pregnancy do you just lose your brain um, plenty pack types of things so the maroon one came with the fall surprise box and I got that obviously and I just want to make sure planning pack yeah that's what they call it um so I got that one and then I saw that they had a couple other versions so I wanted to pick those up as well I absolutely love the planning packs they are the best thing ever especially when your planner starts getting thick and you kind of want to hold it together but also when you don't want to dig through your purse looking for a pen it's perfect so this one is like more of a sapphire blue color um a lot of pens can fit in here I know a lot of the other like influencers have done reviews and stuff showing how many pens they can fit in here I personally just keep a couple with me so this is this is plenty um, when I was studying I used the bigger planning packs because I would have like calculators and all kinds of crazy stuff with me but right now this is perfect so I got the blue sapphire one um, this one has rose gold and or sorry regular gold and then I have the gray one as well. And the gray is actually with rose gold, which is super pretty. I love that combination of gray and rose gold. I feel like it looks really pretty together. So I got both of those. As of right now, um, these two are the only options on the Erin Condren website. Don't know if they're going to make the maroon one available. And I don't know if they're going to do other colors. But I'm just excited that they have a couple different options. So I picked up those. I also picked up all of the colors of petite on the go folios. I use the on the go folios quite a bit. I used the monthly version for work. I use, um, let's see, do I have it right here? Yes. I have this habit tracker that I use to track my inventory when I'm cutting new months. So I do use a lot of these and I just don't really share it as much just because some of it is just stuff that like it's legit just a list of all the kits that I have and then how many I like sold in a certain month um, and then how many I wanted to print and then how many I ended up like uh, staying with. So here's December. Um, this is kind of how I set it up. I again try and track how much I sold for previous month months, how many I want to print, what the inventory is that I'm going to put into Etsy. Uh, and so I've been doing this for a while. I've been tearing them out and putting them in a notebook um, because I really love this setup. But I think right now going forward I'm just going to keep it in here because I'm going to use these and um, try and have like a whole Etsy setup so that I can put like to-do list for like people if they ask for certain scripts or new items and so I can just have like a running um, place to put ideas and like mock-ups and stuff like that so anyway I did pick up the really pretty pink one with the floral design I picked up the regular pink I picked up the sapphire one I did get the sapphire with the gold hearts already um Erin Condren and her team sent me that so I do have that already even though that one's probably my least favorite out of all the new ones I'm just not a huge fan of the stars but I do have it um I also got the maroon one 
and the like mustard yellow color. So I'm pretty sure I have all of the colors right now. Um, maybe with the exception, yeah, no, I don't think they have any of the, um, I don't think they have any of the like um, designs. Like I don't think they have the kaleidoscope or anything like that in these. So I'm pretty sure I have all of them. And like I said, again, I do use these quite a bit. Like I use the journals and stuff a lot, but I just don't really share it a ton. So I wanted to pick those up just so I have some different options. I can switch them out. And along the lines of that, I did pick up some new planner charm things. I really don't have many of these, but I thought it would be really cute um, to put them on the little elastic pieces there. And I'll show you in a second as I get these undone. So I got this really pretty pink gemstone looking thing. I don't know the names of these, honestly, guys. I don't pay attention enough. I'm bad with names, and I'm really bad with like the names of actual items. You can hear Macy. Jason and Macy are obviously playing right now. We went to the pumpkin patch today, so I'm trying to get some work done before I chill with them for a little bit longer, but let's see. Okay, so I did get this one, and then I got an S as well. And I thought it'd be really cute to combine these two and put them on. So let's see, like I would probably use it with I'm really excited about the pink one. There's already gold accent, so it'll be perfect. So I'll probably do something like this. Oops, these are a little tight. Maybe I'll put it on the back. Okay, I have to play with these, obviously. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out, but I know a lot of people put them like on the front just as a little cute decoration. So I'll probably do, some, do something similar to that um, and just kind of play with, around with it. But I just think that they're so cute and like perfect for a little bit of extra design and all of that. So got those. For my, I think it was for these, all the ones that I got, I got a bunch of the pen holders so that I can kind of attach them and always have a place for a pen. Um, currently I do something similar to this. I just put it on top of something, but I do want to have little attachments for all of these so that when I'm grabbing them and stuff, I have a pen always with them. So I got five of those and let's see, I also got a bunch of these large pockets to put on those. I, the ones that I already have, um, with the ex excluding the like navy one with the gold stars i have pockets already set up so i'm definitely wanting to do the same thing with all of those so i have those as well so i'm gonna have a lot of setup on my hands regarding these petite planners and now you guys totally get why i like did this during the actual sale because there's a lot here a lot um some other stuff that i got I got a bunch more of these dividers. I use this for inventory. I have so, so, so many of these used right now, but I do have a couple more months of, um, actually I have, I'm working on December right now. So I need enough for December and then I'm gonna reuse the ones that I've already used for like January, February, March, all of that. Um, but there are some like new sheets and stuff I've added. So I just need to make sure that I have enough of that, of these. So I think I got 20 of those. And let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I get a lot here, guys, and it's been like sitting in this box for a while now. Um, I also got a bunch of these colorful circles, these like uh, transparent dots, basically. I got five of them because every single time I've placed an order in the last couple months, these have been sold out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm getting a bunch so that I don't run out because it's such a pain when you want to buy something and every time you go to place an order, it's not there. And then of course I look the next day and then they're there. So just packed up on those. And then I tried something new. I saw someone on one of the Erin Condren Facebook groups post about this. So I decided to put together 
a little mock-up. I honestly was in kind of a rush, so I did not do like the best job with this. But I wanted to try and do it where you create your own cover. And I did it with two. I did it one with the um, print that I have for, one of the prints that I have for November. Um, this one here and basically I just used the print as the background and then put my like my normal script um, in my name and I think it turned out really well. You do choose the color of your background um, and I felt like it did a pretty good job with choosing it so that it would match. I feel like it's pretty good. Um, but it's really cool that, I, that you can do this and you can create your own cover. I'm definitely going to use it a little bit more. I think I think I would do it probably a little bit different than what I did here. I was honestly rushing just trying to get my order done. Um, but I really, really, really love this. And then I wanted to show you guys a sneak peek at December. So this will be a print for December. Um, and I made it into a cover. So I seriously love, love, love this print. I think it's super cute. It's not the traditional type of Christmas stuff that you would see, um, but I think it looks really cute and I'm super excited for this in my budget kit. So definitely keep an eye out um, for these pretty soon. I believe I'm going to be releasing them on October 20th, so not too far away. But if you did not know about that, if you didn't know about making your own um, covers, that's such a cool option and I'm super excited that they offer that and I'm surprised I've never tried it before. But anyway, you learn something new every day, right? So that is pretty much my haul when it comes to the sale. Again, I picked up a lot of on the go stuff just because I knew that it was going to be a great deal. I got 45% off plus everything that was an accessory. I got another, what, 15% off. So pretty, pretty stinking good for all the stuff that I got. Um, but anyway, if you guys purchased during the sale, let me know what you guys ended up getting. I know the thing that I'm most excited about are probably the fact that I learned that you can do these covers. I think it's going to be a game changer and I think every month I may make my own cover. I'm going to tr tweak it a little bit. I'm not like super fond of like the big bold lines here. Um, the actual design that I used was a little bit longer so there's kind of like a banner looking thing, but it does like make it a little bit smaller. So anyway, I'm super excited about that, but let me know what you guys picked up that you were most excited about and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.